I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet That's tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you, please invite your friends and uh, sorry the voice wasn't working in the first time and now I think it's working good. Uh, before we start I saw somebody saying that he was blocked in uh, David Wood channel so he's coming here so I blocked him too because uh, a good Christian will not go and spread division between people all right so if you are blocked in David Wood channel you are not welcome here too. Don't come here and tell me, oh, I mean, come in your channel because David Wood blocked me. That's me, you're a good person anyway. Obviously, he blocked you for some reason. So don't come here and play your dirty game. Uh, we are Christians, doesn't matter what channel you go to, you know, and if you don't like it there, you don't need to say, I'm coming here because I don't like it there. Otherwise, you are a person who is playing dirty games and you are not welcome and you are not Christian. Now, before we start, we are going to answer a comment, and then we will go to the topic which Muslims accusing me as usual of lying. But you know, I mean, the Muslims want to accuse me that I'm lying. That is really good thing because what you expect? If the Muslims don't accuse me I'm lying, then there's something wrong with me. That's the truth. Anytime you see a Muslim agreeing with a Christian, obviously this Christian is a fraud. So before we start, we have a comment made by a Christian person, obviously, saying the following. I am confused. CP does not allow any contact or communication with the Christians other than other than uh, other non Muslims, and anyone who call him or message him get blocked, uh, etc. And then he is saying, uh, but I feel that most of the viewers are non Muslims, therefore it has to be some fair balance. If even if Christian, uh, if CP does not want. To talk to take calls from Christians on live air, but maybe at least communicate with them in messages. I know CP is not a Christian preacher, but a Muslim debater. Uh, but Christians sometimes need uh, also confused need some help. Remind the Christians Christians, so would be saving their soul. See here, I notice that's always people they complain. Doesn't matter what we do. Uh, the reason I, I say I don't want Christians to call me because this is not we don't want it to do what Muslims do Christians are not calling me to ask me questions Christians are calling me usually to join let us say to say their opinion about Islam but I'm not interested because if what I am doing is not enough about Islam then you make a channel I do not need an opinion of any Christian and if a Christian have a question in case you do not know, when, by answering the Muslims, I'm answering the Christians too, because this is what the Muslims attack the Christian with. So I find that your your comment is not really, I don't want to say foolish, but somehow it's foolish. Because each time we answer Abdul, we are giving the answer to the Christians. So the questions the Christians will ask me, which you are calling them, maybe they're confused. It's the same exactly what the Muslims even, they attack with them every day. So after all those years, you say we are not answering the Christians. No, here we are answering the Christians before the Muslims. Because each time we get Abdul busted, 
we are giving an answer to the Christian and to the Muslim at the same time. So your comment make no sense to me and it's not logical, you know. Same time, why you wanna call me and why you wanna take me, text me message? What you would do exactly? And do you, what do you think? I am a, a machine. I stay here for four hours sometimes, sometimes six hours, sometimes seven hours, sometimes eight hours. After eight hours, you want to text me? Do you think I'm like I have no, I'm not a human being, you know? Do you think I have an army of people? Those who speak in YouTube, they make video 15 minutes for you and they go. So you notice here how people really don't appreciate what we do. And he's saying, I'm confused, doesn't Christian Prince does not allow it. And then he's, he's asking Christian to support him. My friend, I'm not asking Christian to support me. I'm asking Christian to support their faith and their belief so their kids would not be deceived. I am secure. I do not need your support. And the other support is if somebody want to make a donation, go to my channel, go to my Patreon, you will see everybody giving me a donation of one dollar and then at the end of the month none of those dollars are coll is collected so most of people who subscribe to my patreon they are poor they have no very few very few really they have a real donation so you are not supporting me in the comment you don't you don't support me by texting me because when you text me you are just annoying me so look what they do they don't donate they don't help they don't download they don't refute muslims they don't make videos of their own they don't do anything and still they are complaining and I'm the one who do all those things I make books I get for free I stay many hours I, I, I refute Muslim Muslim make videos to attack me all around the world and still you see a Christian a selfish Christian claiming that I'm short in helping okay what I can say what I can say <clears throat> right so they do nothing and they complain and the one who do everything, he is not good for them. My friend, I advise you not to come to my channel. Go to channel who a uh, Christian who will take your call. I will not take your call. Now we go to our topic. A Muslim he posted a video saying that I trick Muslims and make them leave Islam. How? And he, you know, he was talking about this uh, hadith here. He said in the hadith here, it doesn't say that. Uh, the God of Islam is going to import women who have nice uh, feature like breast, vagina, legs, etc. And by the way, if you are getting offended by such a language we use, uh, we are talking about Islam, so this is the topic and this is what it is. As you see, male member, as you see, this religion is about penises and vagina. So if you don't like to hear those words, take a hike and don't make yourself like the shy uh, uh, a person who don't ever heard this word before because this is what I get from the Christians too I mean why you say those words so what I should say you see here they are putting for you male member it's not male member it is Dick Cheney uh, is it nicer it doesn't say male member it says Dick Cheney I'm just giving get, I'm getting you closer to the word uh -huh. I don't know if you get it or not so uh, uh, Christians even complain about anything we say so like why you say vagina why you say so what i will say i will say watermelon it's a vagina it says their vagina i will say vagina what i would do so you notice with the christians that always you have to struggle with them because the christians they don't want somebody to tell them language as it is to show them <clears throat> as as if i am here supposedly to make islam look nicer and I saw to speak in a certain way, and this is supposedly the Christian way of speaking. This is not the Christian way of speaking, because if you don't read the words as it is, you are no Christian. You are a fabricator. It says there, Dick Cheney, what I will say. You know Dick Cheney, right? <laughs> what I will say. So, they are weird, many, some, not all, I mean, you don't know how to make Christian people happy. I don't know what they want exactly. My friend, you say I'm rude, okay, I'm rude. Jesus, he said to the Jews, son of the serpent, you know, <laughs> what more? <laughs> Hypocrite, liars, thieves. <laughs> so, uh, so they they have a they have a wrong idea of a Christianity. A Christian person he don't use those words. Oh, you don't use them really. Uh, you know you never saw them too. 
Ah, okay. <laughs> All right. So here we are very truthful and we are very natural reading things as it is because we are not doing cover up. We are uncovering. The whole world is doing cover up to Islam. Here we are uncovering the cover up. So if you don't like it, don't come here. Take a hike. Uh, now we go to the topic. So here they are saying, <clears throat> Uh, the hadith saying that Muhammad said Muhammad is the prophet of Islam as you know he's a prophet I mean he is the one he is the only prophet who promised you Dick Cheney will not never sleep there's none uh, or no one whom Allah will admit to paradise but Allah will marry him uh, to, uh, to 72 wives this is the lowest by the way this is the bad Muslim Two from the Hories and 70 of his own inheritance from the people of hell. Now here, let us stop. Those women are what? Are from people in hell. If we ask the Muslims why Muhammad God is importing women from hell. You see, he is not importing men. He is importing women. Why? Isn't it women who deserve to go to hell should stay in hell? So Allah, he found a different opportunity to use the skills of those women. Those women are women, they, are, they have a special skills. And obviously their skills is sexual. How you can prove that? If you continue reading the rest, you will see. All of whom will have desirable front passages and he will have a male member that will never become flaccid, i.e. soft and limp. So if this is not a clear, to you that this is extremely sexual then you must be a fool and you must be a donkey so when a muslim he says to me a christian prince right line about vagina and breast i want to ask the muslims leave your comment please after we finish this video what is desirable front passages present to you give me your idea those women they don't have qualification of education they don't have a qualification of cooking why they are imported from hell because and this is your Muslim translation this is not my translation I'm not translating as you see this is your Islamic website this is your own words this is the words you believe it is fit for translation I'm just reading it so I want Muslims to leave for me in the comment later what is the desirable front passages Passages, not only one, not only two passages. So when you must then this, you know, translate, <clears throat> and you come with this English line, and if somebody asks you, what is the desirable, and you know, notice it's going to be desirable. It's not going to be just a front passages. It is something. You desire, and here obviously, who is going to desire it? Mr. Degicini. Do you see Degicini? Degicini is going to be desiring those front passages. So I want you to, to tell me what is exactly will make this private male member liking exactly. What will make this male member never go flaccid? What he will be looking at exactly? So when those Abdul, they say, this is not a vagina, you tell me what it is then. There we have Mr. Degicini. What we should have on the other side? If this is not about a vagina, so why he mentioned the male member who will never sleep? I mean, do you see the stupidity of those people? They claim that I'm lying. In the front of you, it says that your main... Okay, what is the connection? Let us say that the desirable front passages, maybe it's not her vagina, maybe not her boobs, maybe not her chest, maybe, 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 maybe not her legs. Maybe her cooking. Okay, so do you most times, your private part get extremely excited because you see a cookie? She was making cookie and your male member will never go flaccid. I mean, there is a connection. A Muslim penis in heaven, he see cookies, he got so excited and he will never go flaccid. So when the Muslim, they try to refute me, 
I find it, you know, very stupid, very funny, very silly, and very, and I mean, you expose yourself, actually. Because if I am you, I will not even talk about this. I will try to close my eyes and say, I saw nothing, I heard nothing. But you, when you speak about it again, any, the Muslim who never heard of it, now he will hear about it again. He did not hear it now from Christian prince, he heard it from Muslims who are trying to refute me. And here we need to ask ourselves a question. What kind of a messenger of God? Is that a messenger of God or is a messenger of Dick Cheney? So obviously, Mr. Muhammad, the messenger of Dick, Ch Dick Cheney, he was holding the Dick of Cheney, sorry, Dick Cheney, and he was walking with it as a message from God. Did Allah told Muhammad this news? Obviously, Allah told him, your Dick Cheney will never look. Look at the IE, soft and limp. Thank you for explaining. What about we draw a picture? Hey Muslims, why you don't add the picture to the hadith? I mean, just to make it more clear, because they see, you know, now Muslims are confused. What is the desirable front passages? It is the vagina only, or vagina and one breast. Maybe the other breast is, is, a, is a flat, you never know, like, you know, a flat tire. So why you don't add picture to the hadith? This way Christians cannot uh, make something not true. I challenge you, Muslim, to make a picture in the book of the Hadith, for every Hadith, so people will die laughing. The truth hurt, but Christians don't want to hear certain words. They say, this is those, those are rude, you know, those are not really good. I mean, you are a Christian, you should not say that. I say, because I'm a Christian, I have to say it. Because the purpose of my videos is to show you how ugly, filthy this cult is. Not to show you how nice it is. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. Millions of people that read the Hadith, they don't notice how stupid, how disgusting it is. You see, everything I do, I notice that people, they read the same thing I'm reading, but they don't see what I'm seeing. Because you don't go deep in the words, and you don't investigate the words you know, carefully. And when we see a person saying that Allah will import those women, and those women are imported from hell, here you notice that Muhammad, he lied to Muslims, because how he says, if you are a bad woman, is this, you know, blah, 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 and then you go to hell, and then we find that you are coming back to heaven. If you are a pretty, very skilled with sex and have a nice passages women and you are a muslim don't worry allah will import you back to heaven like you go to hell allah will send a call uh, hello send me all the women who have nice breasts nice boobs nice vagina put them all in trucks and send them to he to heaven hey i'm going to heaven you know like but she she was just sent to hell I mean, what kind of God, what kind of justice? Just because she have nice passages, we send them to heaven? Do you see the stupidity? Do you see the qualification? Do you see the reasoning? She is not going to heaven now because she repent. She is not going to heaven now because she became a good person. She is going to heaven because she have a nice vagina and she have a nice boobs. Isn't it beautiful this religion is? So if you are a female and you're sexy and you know it, then don't worry, do whatever you want. You go to hell, you don't worry. Allah will import you to heaven. And you will do exactly what you was doing in earth. Boom, 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 non-stop. So instead of being ashamed of themselves and their prophet, they call me liar. And by the way, Obviously, Muhammad is saying the truth. How we know that? Muhammad is thinking. Look how much he think about you Muslims. He not only promised you a lot of women who they are important from women, they have nice breasts and nice vagina and nice belly button. He is thinking about your penis. This is how true prophet they think. Your penis. What the benefit of those women are so good in bed, but you are not. That will be bad. So the Prophet, peace be upon him, he thought about your penis. May Allah protect your penis. 
and he wanted to give you a warranty. I mean, all companies, good companies, they give warranties these days, right? So Allah, he give you a warranty that the penis which Allah will give you in heaven will never stop effing. I.e. soft or limp. So you go to eat, your penis is like, hmm? You go, you know, what? it doesn't matter. It's, it's mm, all, all for eternity. You go, Zach and Nick want to shake hands with the dad. They cannot shake hands because their penis will hit each other. Remember, the penis is endless. And as long as it never gets get limp, I mean, how those people, they can face each other? How a male Muslim in heaven can face a male Muslim? They cannot. Because their penis is endless and their penis never go limp. They cannot put it in the side or in the pocket or push it left or right or push it down or make it go up. It's going to go straight. You cannot make it limp. Don't even try. Allah, this is Allah wish. So if this is not a filthy, stupid religion, what is filthy? If this is not garbage, what is garbage? So instead of a question, what kind of a prophet they have, they are questioning, and now it's, the problem is, Christian Prince lied to us. It doesn't say vagina there. Look how deep. It's not their prophet how filthy he is. No, it says vagina, because he said desirable in front of patches of women. What they have, those women, where they are coming? They are coming for the F business. What the man exactly would do to them, he, he will use his male member in their nose. You're a prophet, he put the male member there who will never go sleep. For what reason? Because the front passage is there. So he is describing for you that there is a woman, they will be imported from hell. And the reason they are imported, not because they repent. They are already women of hell. Because they did not repent, or, or obviously. They are imported for a very simple reason and no other reason except what you see. Desirable front passages. Here you ask yourself a very simple question. If Muhammad is a prophet of God and his God is a decent God, what kind of God he say to a man, hey Muhammad, tell your followers, if, you do, if they bow down to me, okay, I will make their penis hard, okay? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, very hard. Mm -hmm. will never by the way not only hard tell them will never sleep mm -hmm. yeah so like like you no no snoring no sleeping is going to be always always ready for war you will never be out of animation i mean isn't it this is a long proof that muhammad is a satanic devil man devilish man isn't it this is alone this promise is a proof that this is god is a pimp and there is no way he is God. This is a talk of God. Ask yourself, this is how God talk, and this is how the, people are upset from me for saying the word penis. People are upset from me for from speaking this language, but Muslims are not upset from their God they're promising such a promise. Is it fair that women, they will go to hell and then they will bring back to have it. So the, so the poor Muslim woman who will go to heaven, she will find that a lot of hookers with her husband. This is what the promise is. <laughs> this is the promise. Allah will import the special hookers who they are, you know, obviously they have no skills. They are not good in ethic, they are not good in education, they are not good in cooking. And we you know that in, in heaven, supposedly, there's no education, there's no cooking, there's only effing. And because this is an effing prophet and effing God, and effing prophet and effing God and effing book, all the effing lead to one direction. Effing promises. If this is from God, so what Satan then? is about I'm not going to tell you more about this I decide today to make my video very short and it is short now so I will leave you uh, with the peace of Allah and his Dick Cheney promise so you Muslims can enjoy dream
You go now to dream, you go to sleep. And then you imagine trucks of cars coming, full of beautiful girls. Uh, we can import them from uh, the program, uh, the show of Harun Yahya. You know, I mean, in case, because he have a lot of uh, women, you know, they are imported from there. Okay. Those are supposedly Muslim women. Uh oh. Yeah, this is an Islamic Dawah program. This is this is the here we go. This is the audience. You know the guy who says to me why you don't take calls. If those would call me, I would take their call right away. Okay. Just give them my my Skype immediately. Uh, Christians cannot call me. I'm telling you. But those Muslim, you know that's I will take their calls and I will be so happy to take the any question, any any question, you name it. Especially if the question about something sensitive. Like, what we will get in heaven? And they want to know details. And then I will volunteer to tell them the story, the life story of Mr. Dick Cheney. How Dick Cheney became a senator. And then how he became a vice president. And then how Dick Cheney, he became, he lost his last name. Hmm. So, uh, this is Islam. So you complain about your stupidity or the stupidity of your prophet, you tell me. And when you say I'm lying, people are laughing at you because it's in front of you. I, again, I challenge every single Muslim to leave a comment to tell us what is your description for the desirable front passages tell us don't be shy prove me wrong i say desirable front passages is everything in the front of the women and have connection with making the man sexually excited not the man actually i take my word the male member of the man dick cheney i mean what will make the dick cheney not going flaccid what is those passages will affect your private male member as the hadith says i trust your imagination muslims leave the comment don't use very bad, bad language you know you can use dick cheney i don't think you will mine <laughs> you can say <laughs> you can say vagina you can say i mean yeah but uh, christian prince is lying shame on you christian prince Prophet Muhammad, you are truly, truly prophet. You are the only prophet who touched our private part. I mean the heart of our private part. You are so much connected to our, to our private part. There is no other prophet in the world who was thinking about our private part as men. Thank you. You thought about our private part. You thought about Dick Cheney. You care for our Dick Cheney. We men, we feel really no just being done to us. There's no other God ever thought about our private part like your God. So we truly appreciate you. And we are going to do jihad for your sake and for the sake of our Dick Cheney. So Prophet, from the heart of my private part, I say to you, thank you especially for the promise that he will never go flaccid because I was really worried. I mean, this is really was making me so worried. It's going to be very embarrassing that those women have a lot of skills imported, especially for boom, boom from hell. And yet I cannot do it. That will be very embarrassing. Oh boy. I don't want to be there actually, but now I'm ready. Now I'm ready to take the bus and go to the heaven of Allah. And by the way, I heard there's no need for a zipper because you cannot lock it anyway. Thank you very much for being here. Until we see you tomorrow, maybe, or the day after, we will see. Until then, I leave you. I don't want to say the name of the Lord in such a video. So I will leave you with Mr. Dekicini and leave your comment. And uh, don't forget, if you are a Muslim, to be truthful. Tell us what is the front passages. We are confused. Can you help us?
Take care. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 